Hello campers, what is up and welcome back to another episode here in the podcast and today I have one of the youngest fellow, uh, very interesting I found that and uh, I would like to interact with him and uh, express the perspective of his life. Hello Mr. Prince, what's up man? Hello. Thank you for the uh, appreciation for my podcast here. How are you doing? I'm doing good. My friend, how old are you? I'm 19 years old. 18 years old. Okay, now you are 18 years old, huh? Yes. When is your birthday? Uh, in post post month. Ah, okay. 14. So overall, how is your life going now as a student? As a life, as a student, my life going good. Uh huh. As a student yes. and as an education. Education, I just improving myself. Okay. Huh. Education is pretty hard uh, to become a student, huh? Yes, so when right. you are a very bad student. <laughs> I, what I love about this guy is honesty, man. He's calling that, okay, I'm not good person at study. Yeah, I'm bad. I'm being a bad person right now and trying to improve. Isn't that? Yes. Give me a bro fish for your honesty, man. <laughs> and that's why I called him on my podcast right here, Mr. Prince. Why you have a two name, man? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what was your other name? Roshan. Roshan? Yes. So, uh, are you single? Let's go towards the question. Yes, I'm single. Why? Why? Have you hated any girls ever? I tried to date, but... Woo! Yeah? He cheated on me. Oh! <laughs> my guy feeling the pain of cheat right here. <laughs> Damn. Why? With whom? I don't want to remember this thing. Oh! Oh! All right, all right. And uh, no worries, man. How, okay, can I uh, talk about the duration, like how long you have been into the relationship, uh, this shit relationship? It's and... Long story. Have you ever uh, wrote a song about your breakup? No. <laughs> uh, so you don't want to uh, recall those memories, right? No. Huh? Never, huh? because it was pretty much dark story. And very funny also. Oh, okay. Uh, can you just uh, share some of the funny incidents during the relationship with your girl? Just like. Uh, I don't. I don't want to discuss it, this. Is it like you used to talk like, "Hey, Sona, Mona," no, you know, no. like uh, talking to 11, 12 p.m. up to like. No, uh, no, no. Oh. Oh, anyway, teenagers love story, man. He's just 18 years old. And uh, last, last, we'll talk about it for last two minutes, okay? okay. I am. <laughs> <laughs> How many girls have you ever heated or uh, into date or relationship? Like multiple girls, hmm? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, bro, why not, man? Anyway, so after the experience. Not, not, but not. Not, not now. now. Huh? But not very deeply. Oh, oh, it's just like over, over, huh? Yes. O- just, over layer. Uh, knowing uh, about uh, ourselves and uh, see some uh, some kind of uh, information about me, like as my studies. Mm-hmm. We just talk about our personal lives. Ah, right. For so, first time. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about the gender equality. How do you judge girls? Whether boys are cool or girls are cool. It depends on their behavior. Okay. But maximum time if you have to judge then? Boys. Boys are cool? Yes. Yeah, man. Just like me and you, man. Right? We are the coolest person right here. So, we're doing the podcast, man. Anyway, moving on. What's up in life? What's the future? What's the plan, man? As you are 18 years old teenager. Yes. I wanted to join army in future. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. You, you want to become like which army? We have on several services from here, Indian, UK, Singapore, Nepal. 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 You want to join like Nepal army? Nice. Official rank. At uh-huh. Official rank. So, uh, while talking about you want to become an official rank personal from Nepal itself, right? So, do you have uh, any, any other Nepal. members from the family who encouraged or, uh, how you get the inspiration to become army? Because my uncle also an uh, army. Ah, is he uh, ranked? One? No. Okay. Yeah, he had a rank, but I don't know exactly. Uh, uh-huh. What, what is army for you, man? What is the symbol of army like? 
bravery, dare. How do you define army? Why, why you are so eager to become army? Because nah, army, army. I just, I know, I just uh, recommend the army mm -hmm. because of discipline. Discipline. Yes. Damn, really? Yes. Wow, that's amazing, dude. Sorry about my poor English. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. I, my English also poor, brother. We are same here, but still. We are confident and talking, man. Yes. Perfection doesn't matter. The only thing is uh, confident matters. See my dress up, man. How I came and talked to you and asked 10 rupees, man. Did I ever thought ever I have to uh, dress up myself a suit and go and interact to other people? No, no, no. That is, that is, uh, appearance is next thing, but uh, confidence is next thing. Right. Whether you are poor at or whether you are excellent at. The main thing is right here, you have to be excellent at confidence rather than like how you look, right? My friends always judging me, right? Oh, you are on shorts, cut to just you know, chappa larynx, eh? what, what is this, you know? But I think like, uh, I'm pretty confident uh, to talk with a random stranger, how I handle the situation, you know? I, I love fun things, I love laughing things, you know? I love uh, to hear the perspective of others, man. As you are a youngster, right, 18 years old, uh, starting in 11th, you are telling yourself, uh, okay, I'm poor I'm in uh, studies, but still upgrading myself. I want to become, become an army personnel because you got inspired from uncles and all. And you know the army personnel are for known for discipline. Well, that's interesting, man. Isn't that? Yes. Yeah, man. <laughs> Give me a profist. Woo! And uh, well, let's in the talk about the relationship because you are already uh, pretty much yo bro, stop it! Don't ask any <laughs> <laughs> questions about the relationship. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you told me that boys are cool, and yeah, we are cool, man. But uh, talking about uh, not saying that only boys are cool. Yes, girls sir. are either cool, but only few girls are cool, right? Yes. Uh, anyway, uh, so let's talk about the studies from your. Uh, from your uh, secondary itself, you are in higher secondary now, right? Secondary uh, and primary. So, how was your study in primary and secondary up to school level? When I was in grade eight, uh -huh. my studies good uh -huh. after the corona. Uh huh. Oh, it's called a damn bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, never touch the. Hey, hey. During oh. the corona period. Uh huh. Oh. Never. I just play games whole day. Oh, oh, oh! What was your KD while I playing? Don't know. You don't know, but you just loved playing Free Fire. Yes. Do you still play or what? I so, just, sometimes. I just leave it. Oh, you you left playing that thing behind. Yes. Okay, it means two years ago. Wow, you've been into gaming and mobile phone addiction like deep, which ruined your studies. That's your belief. Exactly, man. And is it like a biggest blame to Corona? No. Who, who is the biggest blame? Myself, okay. My focus. Okay. Uh, do you regret yes. of wasting your time playing games yes. rather than not focusing uh, in uh, study? Playing game, playing game is not good. Uh huh. Uh, if you are playing game with no purpose, mm -hmm. you have a YouTube channel. You are playing. Mm -hmm. Tournaments, uh -huh. it's okay. Playing as a career is good, but playing as a time waste is uh, not good, right? A time pass. Oh, oh yes. shit, yeah. Time should not be passed, huh? Yeah. Because once it's gone, means it will be just a memories, whether it's regret or whether it's pride. Yeah. Wow. So, let's talk about uh, your family wealth. How big is your house? Is it like uh, ek tale, dui tale? Uh, we have a newly built home. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> My guy is floor. wealthy. <laughs> okay, okay. Second floor. Uh, <laughs> we, just, we just have a, a small home before that. Ah, we struggle, have, huh? Yes, we uh -huh. have three rooms. Uh -huh. One is a small room, so which is uh, occupied by small things like are you, you are as a used as a small room storage uh -huh. and uh, one room used as a guest room uh -huh. and uh, we, i have in my family there are four members uh -huh. who sleep at one room uh, oh wow that was the situation yes now you have a new yeah. home 
Uh-huh. Just uh, we have to we just have to uh, install doors and uh, windows. Mm -hmm. Now it is completely done or it is still on process? Still on process. Ah, good. Where, where is the location? Is it uh, somewhere in village or it is uh, some like in marketplace? Is it nearby road? Yeah. No. We have a private road. Uh huh. Then we are surrounded with uh, our family. Oh, it sounds like a villa, man. Yes. You have a private road, a big space right there. Yes. So, what's your father's profession? We have a tractors, two tractors. Whoa! Okay, okay. So All right. We can take a small uh, contract. Uh huh. Have you heard about the word zamindar? Yes. Have you heard about the word zamindar? In uh, in past time, uh, those who have this uh, use. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Listen, in past time, the zamindar is uh, told to be that person who has a huge amount of land, right? A farming land or whatever. But uh, the modern zamindar are those who own a tractor and trolley, man. What do you say? Is your father a zamindar, modern zamindar? Yeah, you got a two tractors, man. How, what is the cost of one tractor? Tell me. 15 lakhs? I don't know. No, no, most probably 15 lakhs, bro. I don't know. And it goes up to like uh, 17 lakhs uh, along with uh, trolley. Damn. And uh, yo, man, you got a two-story house, two tractors, used lane, villa. Whoa, you rich, my friend. <laughs> no, no, it is a villa. Whoa. No, no, villa told to be those house who has like uh, extra space. You know, it was just like a private road, just you told already. And uh, that's amazing, man. Wow. Let's, uh, let's uh, check out the price of your dress, man. How does it cost? What's the price? 15. Well, 15. 100. This? this? 500. 500. What about this? This is 250. Sneaker must be the expensive one, huh? Show me the white sneaker right here. Is it like Jordan? Yes. So, I so, think so. They second copy. No, 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 no. So, yeah, yeah, second copy. What, what was the price? Fifteen. Nice. And this, how, how about this shorts? Twelve. Trouser. Twelve. Your bag? Bag. Fifteen. I'm, I'm taking the drip. <clears throat> Why do you have this a thicker eyelash? Wow, nice eyelash, man. Just like a female, you looks like. Wow, amazing. Wow, I just noticed. Anyway. So, what are your hobbies? Like talking about your hobbies, what do you love to do? I love to do exercise and oh, martial fitness. Arts. Yes, I like martial arts also. Wow, have you been to this martial arts course? Yes. Are you a I black belt guy? Yes. Oh, don't don't beat my ass, dude! <laughs> I'm never gonna talk about the relationship right here again. I got a black belt in Shitoryu Karate. Woo! And, uh, my no, guy, no. I left that dozo after receiving uh, orange. Damn. Now I'm joining Taekwondo WTF. Uh -huh. And I'm in full blue belt. Okay. Maybe next year I'm become the black belt. So uh -huh. oh, actually, like what happened to the Shitoryu Karate black belt? Uh, do, you, do you think like that decreased the value and you are joining to Taekwondo? Why? No, no. It creates some issues when I was uh, in karate. Uh huh. The dojo I, I used to join. Uh huh. That is uh, just vanished. Ah, okay. So Poor the, management. Yes. And uh, that's how the result ended up. Uh, you so have I'm to change the other dojo. So I'm very interested in exercise. Uh -huh. so I don't have a guys to play with me. Oh. That's why I joined the taekwondo. Uh huh. Oh, nice. So, uh, now you are also doing the evening classes? Mm, or? I have some health issues nowadays, <coughs> that's why I am avoiding that. Uh, what types of health issues now? Um, uh, I have a heart problem. Heart problem? Yes. Like, what types of heart problem, brother? It, it doesn't kill it. I have to go to the doctor okay. after 15 days. What happened to you? Like, is it a disease? Like, what types of disease is it? It is. Doctor said it's a small problem in heart. Ah, okay. That's why I'm taking medicines. It can be recovered? Yes. Okay. Hope very soon, brother. I'm taking medicines <coughs> nowadays. And I'm avoiding any kind of heavy walks. 
मैं देखे मेरे डैडी कस मेरे डैडी मम्मी लस्तरी स्ट्रगल कर मैं कसरी हुआ मैं ठा सिंग्स यस आई हेव अ ब्रदर यंगर और सीनियर एल्डर वन सो यू आर जस्ट टू उसको स्टडी में एकदम बेकार एक्सपोजिंग <laughs> is he also playing the game? Yes. But he is also living Where is he? Game slowly in Dodara. Oh, in house. Yes. He's Damn. studying eight. A oh, junior one. Yeah. You have a junior, junior. brother. Oh, I said elder. Yeah. Ha ha. I thought like he is the bigger one. Hey. Okay. I have a two baba ko chora nahi elder. Uh-huh. I have two brothers. Okay, okay. That is a that is cousin one. That is different than a siblings. Yeah. Wow. Have you ever slapped your junior brother and why? Many times. Gaad phaad to. Why? 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 Like, what is the issue? Like, <laughs> it's, it's sometimes. <laughs> like how? Like just, uh, I'm just sleeping. You just go and kick me. Oh. Wake up. <laughs> and you, after working up, you make him run and then pocket ke gaan far. No, no, it's a, it's a fun memories uh, so during working. childhood, being a brother, you know. Yes. So, uh, uh, do you celebrate this dosi tiyar? Yes. Okay. Uh, during dosi tiyar, uh, you'll be going to your relative's house, right, with brother and all. Yes. So, have you ever snapped your brother's money? No. Uh, which comes after prayers or like the the elder which gives? No, no. No. <laughs> Let's exchange the this red one with the blue one. Our family is so stuck, strict. Uh huh. Why we didn't do these kind of things? Uh huh. Either we will punish. <laughs> <laughs> do your younger brother have his own personal phone? Yes. Really? He just in eight and he got personal phone. Yes. Damn. He reads in eight class. Uh huh. Is yeah, yeah, he's in 15. class here. Yeah, yes. okay. His age is fifteen. Who gave him? Mossy. So, Mossy is who? Mossy. Mossy is uh, grandma. Auntie. Mother's si- sister. Yeah, yeah, auntie. Yes, we call Mossy. Oh, you call Mossy? Yes. You are Mr. Karki, huh? Yes. You have a different language here. Yes. Or you speak Nepali only? Totally language. Do you speak all these languages? Oh really? Yes. Oh nice man. So let's talk about the study dude. Once again back to the study back to the book. Do you like books? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> It's <in> neutral point. <laughs> <laughs> no. No no. Bro. It's a neutral point. You know. You know what type of kid I was uh, during my childhood? Uh what I used to stay with my sisters, like this uh, father's sister, you know, this cousin sister's house. Then uh, my in-laws, uh, they used to bring me a book, you know, new book, my Bhinazu, right? So brother-in-law. Then what I used to do is I tear up like all those books, you know. Then uh, then what he did one day is like he just put inside the sack and he hung me over this bamboo on how like on roof house, man. And then I was like literally crying. Then from that time I did not uh, tear any of the books. So that that was how I hate lesson. book. No, no, yeah, true lesson is uh, different. That is uh, secondary. But the first was like I don't like books. Like since from my childhood, I don't like studies. Uh, no one uh, likes book. <laughs> no, no, it's not about the knowledge that I'm hating, but uh, the uh, I'm hating the educational culture. Of uh, of uh, teacher uh, not uh, actually sharing the proper way and the technique of memorizing things, you know. They always say like go oh, read and come, you know. It doesn't come in mind. To everyone. Ha uh-huh. ha. That's a uh, not a good culture. What do you think about this uh, toppers in school or college? You know, these fast second um, girls boys like do they really study hard? Or what makes you weak in study, like say, as a self-realization? Some are really genius. Okay. They uh-huh. just capture small things uh-huh. quickly. Uh huh. But some toppers are just ratu tota. Uh huh. Okay. 
आर यू वन अफ दि रट्टू तोता टाइप पर्सन और यू डोन्ट आई एम नट अ रट्टू टाइप ओके Like what was your um, uh, mark in SE? I understand something <coughs> that I captured easily. Mm hmm. What was your score in SE? Which grade? Two point eight five. Is that like B? Means. Is that a B or A? B plus, I guess. Yes. B. B plus. B, B plus. Yes. Uh, that. That's that's that is pretty Without poor. Without any cheating. Oh okay. Do you mean that the toppers? Uh, Who scored like A and A plus? Uh, they cheated. Toppers also. I also see some toppers cheating in the exam. Well, well, which deck is your preference, first or uh, back? First. <laughs> first. I think you are a back brincher. No, first. You always Ask take first. My friends. Uh huh. I always sit first bench or second. Maybe, maybe this like time, this time in college, but uh, during school period, you used to sit back in a bench. No, <coughs> I used uh, to sit back bench at different times, mm -hmm. but not that permanently. You know why we are speaking English only? So this is so far the first uh, uh, podcast that I'm. No. no, you already told me that my English is weak. Then. But I'm speaking <coughs> English because it makes me good. Bro. स्टूडियो टू रेकॉर्ड एंड दिस चाइल कमिंग एंड रिंग दिवेसीयर डोट डिस्टर्ब अस ओके My friend, go now. Okay, brother. Let's uh, let's have an end talk now. Uh, it's a really fun conversation. Actually, I don't think education matters. Sometimes the only thing matters is confidence. Have you seen like uh, the people who are not very well experienced in work but still confidence? You know, like next level confidence. I need this type of confidence in social yeah, media, <laughs> like that, you know. Pure backbenchers. They have a very good attitude. Ah, uh -huh. so you see, bro. See. Being a backbencher. Uh, I will tell you, my boy. Listen, I was in class ten. Okay, I was in class ten. Failed at every subject, passing in only one subject. Guess the subject. We we have eight eight ten subjects in class ten, right? I used to fail in every subject, but among those subjects, I used to pass in only one subject. Guess the subject now. Which subject I I used to pass? I don't know. English, my friend. English. I only pass in English. <laughs> And failed in every other subjects. You know, At that time we used to have S L C. Now it uh, turned into S C, right? So what I did is to save the school name. I ran. From house to not giving exam, we were like the total number of students in class ten were just ten, okay, and I was the poorest one and surely failed in S E. Oh, sorry, S L C. Okay, our time S L C. And what I did is, uh, my because of me, because of me failing from the school, my school name would be ruined, right? Literally. So what I did is, I tried saving that prestige of the school name. And I ran during the final exam, and I did not attempt the final exam. So that's how I saved the school name. <laughs> that's how much poor I was, my friend. <laughs> and and uh, I think still that uh, my principal Sir Gajendra Kandanga would miss me. You know, okay, that boy he was poor, but he did not ruin the school name. He ran at last, and that that how poor I was, man. and i did not uh, attempt any of further classes uh, because of my circumstances as well because i was very depressed very negative person very back foot you know no one supported me man and uh, too depressed i thought of killing myself you know i thought of killing myself yeah and maximum time whenever i meet to new people uh, i always ask them about the suicide thoughts you know have you ever thought about or what's your perspective about killing yourself you know then What I realize in life is, okay, don't 
fucked up now okay don't kill yourself now live a life you have a age you have a you are young you you are good looking okay uh, uh, just live a life man no matter how, how much you failed in life or you are not successful it does, doesn't really matters but uh, survive until you die or until your health is okay right then that's how i am surviving my friend <laughs> <laughs> otherwise otherwise i would also killed myself um, back in time and i i would not be here and doing podcast with you so But you take a right decision ha uh, so that's how that's how i took the decision and uh, still surviving and uh, laughing like you know crazy you know i don't have hesitation to go in people and talk in i have few but not much that showed me a lack of confidence I I am positive about life. I love people, man. I really love people. I love good people, I mean, not the bad people. I just love your behavior. Yeah, man. So, yeah, this is also one of the reason that I approached for the podcast, man. Otherwise, interviews or podcasts are only supposed to hold or held for successful people, isn't that? Who are we? Are we a successful people to do the interview? No, man. a failed person a struggling person doing the struggling person podcast man this is life it's on that sometimes we also got to we also have to hear this uh, struggling people's uh, you know uh, stories right as you are 18 years old teenager you know that uh, some some other 18 years might be like successful at their own circumstances or studies or you know uh, sports or whatever thing let's 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 take them back you know we, we we as a struggling or we as a failure person or we as a trying out person why not we deserve to talk about our life man i am giving the opportunity <laughs> i am i am giving the opportunities to myself and creating the opportunities to others just like you when wow isn't this is our amazing memories yes so no matter where in the life we move you know after 5 or 10 years we'll have a good conversation here or good memories man you'll be here you'll be just judging yourself your personality is dude like oh okay you know you you are saying that okay my english is poor but we are doing it in english only right yes. and uh, no it is never a poor it is time to upgrade you are confident about anything language or study or anything right but yeah shit happens man poor thing happens man just like me failing in every other subject uh, and passing in only one subject wow oh. you have a good english <laughs> no my english is not good i just love it so my english is not good i i don't i never say my english is good if i have to rate my english out of 10 then i would give 2 only i give 0 <laughs> <laughs> in my case. okay no 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 don't give zero at least give like one or two man g if you are even giving a zero means that you have a strong rating and a strong probability that you want to upgrade yourself I'm expecting because then my capacity what if you can't fill your purpose uh, or dream in life then you will be trying other work yes i have a second plan like what's your second sitting, plan to sitting another country like abroad You are already belong to pretty wealthy. Your fa- family can afford for abroad. Not going to golf, man. My family, I I am supposed to go golf, man. My family can't afford for abroad. If it was this uh, situation, then I would never be right here. I would be even go to golf, or my study would be better. I would not be depressed, or I would not be unsupported by family, man. Wow, I missed the chance, dude. Anyway, you lucky, man. You have a good parents. Yes. Uh, even though I am not telling my parents bad. Mm-hmm. as a parents they are good but as a behavior they showed to me that was really bad you know what what interesting it's been like more than 12 years not talking to my parents bro why because because of their behavior towards me man it was really really bad that's why i was depressed man that's why i was failed in every subject that family environment you know otherwise other, otherwise uh, tell me the reason why would i fail in every subject or why would i live a uh, house you know i don't know anything about that but small problems creates and family that's mm-hmm. a normal thing no it was never a small problem man i am having a uh, thoughts of killing myself and that is a small problem someone is trying to kill him or herself means that is a small problem that's the biggest issue 
and how the issue created issue created by my family so i did not die man i let my family to die i mean they are still survived i thought that's a symptoms of atlossians uh -huh. what is this english man atlossians mean the ah okay okay ha ha i got it got it got it okay uh oh. no no there are uh, two factors of uh, first is uh, we we came here and our parents became parents family became families like relatives became relatives by a natural by birth right that is a natural term and there is other a behavior factor matters okay behavior factor you might be more closer than a my brother you know but we are not a naturally born brother or sibling right but we became a brother by the behavior by the mindset by the attachment of a struggle or the, by sharing the stories man right or or we are a good people right here okay we are a good people we we depressed okay we have a negative thoughts it comes equally but we always try to attempt positive things only right so this is the spirit in life man or uh, or only thinking about negative thoughts and killing or uh, joining the bad company just uh, just like i asked you already have you ever tried shit <laughs> no do you want to try ever no what if you became a Mm, you became like a drug addict like or like shit in future i don't want to be addicted <laughs> anything can you pred predict your future like i don't want to predict my what do you think about marriage your marriage when when at what age you want to get married bro you are 18 now it depends on my family do you want to do like love marriage or arranged marriage absolutely prefer love marriage okay but uh, you are already hurt huh <laughs> <laughs> you tell me make a joke <laughs> <laughs> how about uh, saying that i'll be staying single forever i am already broke into five pieces <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, how, we got another person. Okay, hey bro, what what so types of girl would you prefer, man? You you looking good, you wealthy, you are good, everything good at. You going average, you're nice. What is your preference for uh, making a partner? The cousin, the girl who give respect to my parents. Okay. My preference. Uh mm huh. -hmm. How about if she is a alcoholic? बेसिकली इन आवर सोसाइटी गर्ल्स आर नॉट एडिक्टेड अबाउट एनीथिंग बट नाउ इट इज येस नॉट ऑल गर्ल्स आर एडिक्टेड अबाउट बट मैक्सिम ऑफ गर्ल्स आर स्टार्टेड अब्यूसिंग हाँ आई डोंट नो ओके यू माइट यू माइट नॉट बी इन दैट सर्कल बट दिस दिस जेनरेशन इज टोटली चेंज ब्रो Yes, I, I don't speak that much bad words, okay? But girls started speaking more than mine. Like, yeah. is that a justice? I just, I just realized. <laughs> okay, you might not speak any of bad words because we are good people, right? We don't have that bad habit to adopt one. But we have seen in our community uh, this internet thing and social media. Girls are doing fight for the boys, you know, gang shit and you know, abusing. Wow, is this is this cool? Not really. No. Have you ever been into fight? Yes. Why, like, when? During school time? During school time and uh, other time also. With whom? Not in, not in, not our very serious condition. Okay. Very small issues. Like uh, small issues and small fights. So you went uh, towards fight because you know this uh, black belt thing. No, before uh, <laughs> I joined karate. Okay. I just fight with my classmate. Uh huh. Why you fought with your classmate? Because he just pushed me. Okay, that was. A... I got fouled in round. Who won? My friend. Okay, your friend won. I don't want to tell <laughs> <speak. laughs> now. His name. Now, okay. Now, how is the relation uh, with that guy? Very good. Okay, you are now friend. Yes. Back to friendship. I never prefer this enemy type things. Uh huh. I love to make friends. Okay. <laughs> I love to make 
good relations. Nice, dude. If I pout some with someone, uh -huh. I just make, I just try to make good relation with that person. Okay. So that is a nice good behavior. So uh, at which class you were in uh, during the fight, like one class one. Damn, class. that is a pretty challa type, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Any latest fight moment? No. Eight, nine, fight. ten, eleven. We're just fighting karate and taekwondo. Oh. Never in the, because I have a very strict family. I uh -huh. know it all that. Do this uh, martial arts things helps you while fighting, or uh, just. Uh, why why martial arts like what is what is it why can, it can give you a good confidence level okay i thought and a little bit and skills. personal safety yes little bit skills uh-huh okay nice i think about those things what do you want to say about how, how we met and uh, we completed our podcast for 41 minutes now we just meet incidentally on road uh-huh then we talk, talk something about the societal things. Uh -huh. Then we got some attest. Uh -huh. <laughs> then we'll take a podcast video. Uh -huh. How are you feeling? feeling coming good. here in podcast and talking about yourself? I'm feeling good. Nice. Is it a, one of the good memories for you or? Yes. Okay. Anyway, man, thank you for 10 rupees. Welcome. And thank you for the podcast time and sharing some of your perspective towards life. So although you are just 18 and life is going to be hard, life is going to be too much negative, but hope you will be strong enough to adapt all the positive energy and, uh, um, you know, just decline this thing, you know, negative things and uh, keep moving in life and wish you very best of luck towards your future, man, towards your studies. No problem, shit happens, you know, like weakness, things. Shit happens, uh -huh. but we have to keep moving. Okay, good. Good spirit, man. Hope you will be doing this quote into practical manner, you know, just applying things. So anyway, uh, here I would like to end uh, the short talk or the podcast thing with Mr. Prince Karki. What types of content do you make uh, on TikTok? And you have already 7K followers. I don't have any kind of <laughs> content. Mm -hmm. talk. How you how you gain like seven k followers? I just uh, make uh, reels uh -huh. on music. Okay. At last, do you have any message for girls? I don't have uh, any kind of message for girls. Do you love girls? Yes. Oh, uh oh, -huh. oh, uh oh. -huh. <laughs> Why are you blushing? Is it like good? <laughs> Is it a good feelings to love of God? <laughs> Maybe it, it would be a good feeling. Are you a shy type of person to interact with a beautiful girl? Oh my God! No. Your dream angel, your prince. You are already prince, man. I'm a very shy person. Pretty shy. You don't like talking much to people? No. Ah, okay. Not to people. <laughs> Just a girls. Okay. Just for a girls. Okay. English, they can't be used now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what was that at last, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Funny moment. Ah, oh, my. <laughs> no, no worries, man. It's no worries. Fun. Funny moment for a clip. <laughs> okay. Do you miss your ex? She's with me. <laughs> like how? Classmate? No. Like with me means? Yeah, the same college. You are still... Oh, same college? Yes. Do you guys like... Aakh lagai, you know? Aakh lagai. Pyaar ke. We just talk as a friend. Oh. How long, how long you have been into relation, like, how many months or year with that girl? It's a very funny story. Okay. I don't want to share that. 
<laughs> I was trying to knock him again uh, and ending this podcast the relation thing but this guy made me laugh so hard man <laughs> Hey uh, if if some girls are in, uh, impressed and interested uh, talking to you or uh, you know hanging out then you how would Oh. oh no 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 what i'm saying is if somebody by coincidence if someone goes was and she got impressed with you then how would she contact you man you just have to follow me on tiktok what's your tiktok we are good friends okay what's your tiktok it's me prince karki and at last would you would you fall in a relation if the girl is perfect for you then yes of oh. course okay What do you think about a boy's marriage or getting getting married a boy like what do you think about gays homosexuals <laughs> Are you I wish in a goal with Venus <laughs> I never met that kind of person or or what about a boys with a uh, goal thing goal reproductive organ Isn't that crazy seems to be crazy but uh, that's a natural thing isn't that isn't that weird man damn bro see, imagine 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 that you made a girlfriend and uh, during the romance you found that or no, 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 no. <laughs> her thing is bigger than yours <laughs> would you give some jobs <laughs> <laughs> My guy know this thing man. Hey. Let's <laughs> go. Hey bro. Hey, hey, which is your favorite site? Means <laughs> I don't understand what you trying to say. You are just laughing like a man. Oh god. Anyway, that is hilarious, bro. You got me laugh. Anyway, thank you so much, man. We have fun. <laughs> huh? At last please any message? I don't have any kind of message. Okay. Salai. Keep laughing. Uh. Uh. Anyway guys thank you so much for watching this podcast and if you found this pretty interesting make sure you comment and if you're new here make sure you subscribe until then see you on next and lastly i believe i can fly